Moving on now, and with harvest being complete, it's a good time to catch a break and begin planning for next season. And researchers behind the scenes are already crunching numbers to help give you an idea of the money you'll be putting down. Extension educator Glennis McClure helped contribute to the 2019 crop budget report. She joined me in the studio to explain what the report is and the research that goes into it. Well, the Nebraska crop budgets are done annually and they're based on cropping practice norms throughout Nebraska. And in 2019, we've done 78 um, budgets with, on 15 different crops. And we do those in a spreadsheet format. And so it allows producers to be able to go in and modify those and um, you know, sort of make them their own if, if they choose to do that. And the results of those is we, we come up with a total production cost and a cash cost per unit. And um, the, that per unit cost is based on a total of all costs divided by the yields in each of the crops. The crop budgets include cost estimates only and do not provide net return or profitability estimates. And uh, what are the ways that farmers and producers will find this information useful? Well, there's really a lot of details uh, and a wealth of knowledge and experience that go into these crop budgets. Bob Klein, who's at the North Platte Extension Center, and a team of university specialists put together um, information on the input costs and the application rates based on the yields. And um, really, I think farmers can find that these are good guidelines and if they're doing some of their own um, cost projections, they can also um, do some comparisons, I think, with what their information is and what our information provides in the crop budgets. So what are some of the biggest budget changes from 2018 to 2019 that producers need to be concerned with? Well, one of the changes that were made in the budgets this year is that we had um, an actual yield and a yield goal before in those budgets. This year we went to just doing one yield goal. So it'll make it easier to do some comparisons moving forward. So it's a little difficult to look back and make some comparisons because of that adjustment. Also, of course, we, uh, we adjusted the real estate investment rate downward by 1%. Last year it was at 4%. This year we used a 3% figure. As well as the real estate taxes, uh, they've crept up. We did make an adjustment upward on real estate taxes. But on the other hand, we decreased real estate values. And that was based on the Nebraska real estate report. We used those figures you know, as we, as we looked to doing the budgets. And where are we seeing the largest increase in costs? Um, we, we, I think with the fuel prices as they were increasing, you know, a month or two ago, and these are just recent, recent adjustments, and I guess throughout this year they have been increasing. Um, we increased the diesel cost from 245 per gallon a year ago to 249 in this year's budgets. But what it did do with those fuel price increases is we noticed an increase of about 20% in nitrogen and about 11% increase in phosphorus. So of course those crops that use those inputs are going to see some material input cost increases. Anything of note with decreasing costs? Well, other than the land value and the investment rate adjustments that we made, um, there really wasn't a lot of cost adjustments downward that we've, that we've included in the budgets for this year. Okay, so and as one of the researchers with this, what were some findings that you found to be especially interesting or surprising? Well, we've noticed some cost increases, especially as I mentioned in the materials and services section, but of course there have been a few cost decreases. As I've glanced through the comparisons from the 2018 to 2019, I see a slight over, overall increase um, in costs uh, with some exceptions. Um, while we can't compare, we have to be careful about comparing the budgets from year to year as apples to apples, sure. but like looking at a dryland corn budget in a corn soybean rotation with a 100 bushel yield goal, we see a total cost per bushel estimate of nine cents less. And the total cost noted in the budget um, overall is $4.10 for 2019. On a no-till pivot irrigated soybean example with a 70 bushel yield goal, we saw a total cost per bushel calculated at $7.76 per bushel for 2019 compared to $7.65 a year ago. So that's 11 cents difference in a decrease in, in that particular budget. So, so you'll see some that are higher and some that are lower.